Hey, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video, and today we have one from Taribo. It is 172nd scale, of course. It is a Shenyang J8 B version, Finback B, uh, which the NATO designate these as. These are a direct improvement over the original J8 interceptors, which the Chinese based upon the enlarged MiG 21 design. And uh, the differences between the B version are quite obvious. Essentially, uh, nearly a new design, around 70% of the original J8 design was changed. And the most noticeable change, which is easily visible, is the deletion of the nose intake that the MiG-21 style did have. And that was replaced with a more conventional style nose. And of course, the addition of the uh, air intakes here, the side air intakes, uh, taking design cues, I guess, from the MiG-23 uh, and the F4 Phantom of the time, as well as many other changes were made internally and everything like that. What we'll do is we'll get this out of this pretty boring box. So I'm hoping the money they saved on box art and everything like that will be directly into a really cool model inside this box. So let's get this aircraft out. So here we have it out of the box. It does come with a little booklet here from Taribo. This does outline all the cool stuff that they are trying to flog to you. Uh, predominantly, well, actually everything in this catalog is purely Chinese military stuff. So if you're into your Chinese military stuff, uh, these guys, I suppose, are the ones to get them from. And what we'll do is we'll open this box up and have a little look at this J8B. And as you can see in this nice foam box, it does come with a pre-finished stand already. And um, I reckon that's, uh, yep, pretty cool. So that saves you uh, having to assemble that. And in the box itself is sitting this J8. So we will attempt to grab it out. And it, it does come out really nice. And it has some reasonable weight to it. And what we'll do is we will uh, move this foam box out of the way so it does not distract you. And have a look at this pretty, pretty cool looking aircraft actually. It's not... Not too bad, it, it doesn't doesn't seem too bad. It does look like it has some moving parts and everything like that. And uh, of course, these did enter service with the People's Liberation Army Air Force and a Naval Air Force in the 80s. And these are still actually in service with them uh, at the moment too. So um, in some sort of capacity. And there was around 408 aircraft built in all variants of this particular type. And um, I think overall, we'll have a little close look at some of these panel lines. And that's, it is not too bad. I paid 90 bucks for this, and that was including the delivery you know, over to me to, to Australia. And for 90 bucks, and that, that's including the GSTs and the tax and all the bullshit that we have to pay. Um, I, I don't think that's, you know, too bad. And as I said, these do, these do manipulate around, so you can... Uh, Move these around. They are a little bit stiff here and there. We'll go right to the back of it and have a look at some of the engine detail. Which is not too bad. It does not have anyone in the cockpit or anything like that. But uh, the details themselves. Run down this fuselage and have a little look. All the ordnance is already on. So... We do not have to do a thing. Sausage Thingers say thank you once again. It does have this big plug on here, which, okay, I, I do assume we do have to remove that. So we've got to do something. We do have to remove this little plug here. And uh, what I'll do is I'll quickly remove that now. So, uh, and then we'll get straight into having a look at underneath properly. So here it is with that little um, block taken out. Obviously, that's where this stand will go. And um, the only thing, though, is if you plan on not displaying this on the stand and you just want to chuck it on your shelf, there is no little cover to cover that hole. So you've got this freaking ugly, little uglier hole there that uh, will stand out. But overall, the build itself is not too bad. The only other thing you have to do is put in this <laughs> pit of tube, if you can call it that. All it is is a, just a bit of silver rod. It doesn't taper into the front of the nose or anything like that. It is... It is actually pretty bad. It's similar to another one of these Chinese aircraft that we did and it had the same deal. Just a cheap ass rod that uh, you just whack in the front of your nose and that's your pit of tube. So really, if, if you really like this aircraft, you'd, you'd want to source something more accurate and actually replace this. In my opinion, this is pretty, pretty garbage, really. 
But uh, as I said, this is not a high quality model. You're not paying hundreds of dollars for it. You're paying under a hundred. Well, I am. Uh, as I said, I got it for 90 bucks and that was including the GST delivery and, and all that kind of jazz. Um, there is no riding or anything like that. And the missiles, it's quite plain. They're all just white. Uh, but one thing, the wheels do, they do turn. So if rolling your aircraft around on the deck is your little thing, uh, you will be pleased about that. But um, overall, it is it is an okay aircraft. It is sort of a pass. Um, look, to be honest, there is not a ton of Chinese aircraft out there to buy in diecast, and your options are quite limited to, you know, if you are planning to try and do a Chinese aircraft collection or just a worldwide collection of aircraft available. But, yeah, you're sort of limited for ninety, for under a hundred dollars, it's it's not a bad bad looking sort of aircraft. It does have those you know little moving flaps on the wings. It also does have some movement in the rudder as well, and uh, overall, it's not too bad. But uh, what we'll do is we will put it on the stand, I suppose, since we haven't really had to you know do anything. I'll say I'll see how awkward I can I can do that. You can do it. It does should slip straight in there. Oh wow, that, that's scary. It doesn't stay in the hole. It, it is quite front heavy and it's uh, tipping forward on the stand. That is kind of scary. So I am assuming, this is the little uh, Allen key that came out of that plug that you took off. So I'm assuming maybe you've got to screw this back on if you want to have it on the stand properly. So what I'll do is I'll see if that works and come back in a second. Yeah, so yeah, if you want to put this on the stand properly, you must screw it in. They do provide you actually with a little Allen key to do that. So you've got to put that in and it's not, not as easy as it looks. Uh, so you've got to hold the aircraft upside down. You've got to balance this stand in. You've also got to put the um, Allen key bolt in there and then hold the Allen key and try and screw that in. It sounds like you need to be a freaking octopus to do it, um, but you don't need to be. Uh, you just you just got to balance it and uh, try and get it done. It uh, It's not... It's not like easy just slapping it in and job done. It is, uh, does take a little bit of work to uh, chuck it on the stand. But once it is on the stand, it does sit correctly. And, hey, at least you can knock it around and uh, you won't have to worry about it falling off the stand ever because it is a long thread and it does go really tight. So uh, it does set up on that stand nicely. It does present quite well. Um, there is no issue with that whatsoever. Just, yeah, that pit of tube comes out really easy, as you just saw. I just touched it then, and uh, and it came out. That is that is the major letdown of this aircraft, is that garbage pit of tube right there, that that piece of shit there. <laughs> um, that, is, that is terrible. Uh, but the rest of the aircraft is not too bad, in my opinion. I don't have too much of an issue with that at all. But uh, I will wind this video up. Um, I have uh, talked about this Shenyang J8B way too much. And uh, so what I'll do is I'll take some happy snaps of this uh, Chinese bird and uh, chuck them up at the conclusion of the video and you can check it out. So once again, this is by Toribo. It is the Shenyang J8B, Finback B as NATO call them. And... Um, it is 172nd scale die cast, and I got this for $90, including the delivery and everything like that. And it's it's not too bad a build. It is not super high quality, but it is a, a fairly nice rendition of this particular aircraft, which, of course, as I said, there's not a ton of different options you have for this. So, yeah, you've just got to sort of take it or leave it. And I will leave that choice up to you. Once again, guys, thank you so much for checking out another one of our videos. I hope this one was a little bit helpful for you. And um, I do appreciate you guys supporting the channel with your views and your likes. And speaking of likes, if you did like it, spare that couple of seconds and throw us a like. That'd be awesome. And if you have yet to subscribe to the channel, feel free to subscribe as well. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. You all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys.